Everything's quiet and peaceful here in Capital City. What are you doing? Writing a letter to my mother. I write her at least once a week. And you're telling her everything's quiet and peaceful? What does she think being a monster warrior is? Well, uh, I haven't exactly told her about monster warriors. Uh, there's no need to worry, Mama. This is crazy, Sal. It's like all the transformers all over the city are malfunctioning. Uh, we're supposed to go to... Sector 7. Grid 9. Tower. It's not your fault. It's just they don't teach you new guys how to read a map. So you learn from experience. And experience tells you that so something ain't the top of that tower. What? So my experience tells me. No! In a way, things are sort of peaceful here in Capital City. It's just that. The whole city's going crazy. What's that? Well, there are power blackouts everywhere. Haven't you guys been watching? Hey, it's not so much like it's been eaten. It's more kind of like uh, melted. I don't like it. All the weird things that happen to Capital City these days, and now I feel like I'm being watched. You see anything? You got binoculars? I can't see anything. You? I make the monsters big. crews are trying to solve the problem. Take a look at our map and you'll see the area affected from our swamplands down to our factories in the east to our western woods. All of Capital City is affected. Not all of Capital City. But, but that's amazing. It's not amazing, but at least we'll keep Monster HQ up and running and we won't have to worry about any power outages. This doesn't make any sense. Take a look. CCTN said the edges run from the swamplands to the western woods, right? Right, so what's wrong with that? No, no, I, I see what she's getting at. The grids. See, one grid going down should trip over another and another. That's why they're called rolling blackouts. But what CCTN's talking about are random outages, completely unaffected by the sequential nature of the grid. Want to try that in English? Something's eating the, the city's power lines. Where's Luke? Professor, you mean there is no way to stop them? I'm afraid not, Chef. You mean they just keep coming from the skies and we're powerless? I'm afraid so, Chef. I'm afraid there may no longer be any hope for the human race. You see, Jeff, when we exploded the first atomic bomb, we opened up a doorway. A doorway to the unexpected. Inexplicable. 
Sometimes I worry that Luke's... We interrupt this emergency report to bring you another emergency report. Capital City Power Authority uh, are informing us located two, two electrical power workers went missing last night. Direct to Capital City Memorial General Hospital. It's out there. It's out there. That's it. We're all gonna be flowers. Listen to him. He's a genius. And he knows it's coming. And gonna party you. Clearly. Two city employees who are seriously working too much overtime. That's a mistake. What's a mistake? Not listening to those guys. Have you seriously been watching and making notes on every close movie ever made? Um, yeah. Or as many as Krieger can get his hands on. Why? Because until we can catch Von Steinhauer, the only means we have of guessing what he's thinking or how to find those monsters he keeps throwing at the cities through those truly lousy movies. And what have you learned so far? If he truly has lost his mind, we could all be in a lot of trouble. I'll also bet we're not the only ones in the city with our own power supply. I will show these flea-brained denizens of Capital City what power is! Yes! I, Klaus, the greatest monster mover maker of all time, will show them that this time they will not only be amazed by my new creation, they will be absolutely electrified! <laughs> electrified! <laughs> you kids really want to know what we saw out there? Um, well, if you're, you're able to, we'd, we'd, we'd like to... Pollinate! Sal's not feeling so well. Coming at me! Nope. Not well at all. <clears throat> See, it's all about a malfunction. Sector 7, grid 9, tower 8. You. Hmm. You wouldn't have me be making toast, would you? I... What kind of toast? My toast with honey, of course. Lots of honey! <laughs> honey. Guys, yeah, crazy as it sounds, this is all starting to make sense to me. But first things first, we've got to figure out whatever Sector 7, Grid 9, Tower 8 is as fast as we can. failure could have... It's not a chance. Then what could have caused that? Whoa, Luke, look, the woods. <sighs> All right, reconnaissance mission. We don't engage. Roger that? Roger. Roger. Yeah, Roger. Down power lines back by the road? Maybe. So for some reason it sounds, well, alive. Something about that sound is so familiar. It's like. Like that. Yeah, it's 
Antonio? You need to know everything you know about bumblebees. Well, well one thing I know is, is they're not predatory. Are you sure? see one of the team get injured, that's all. Hmm. I thought you said bumblebees were harmless! They are! That's why this one's behavior is so baffling! So far, it hasn't exhibited any of the characteristics familiar to its species! Nothing we've seen makes any sense. Bumblebees are peaceful. They're just pollinators. They go from flower to flower, pollinating. It's how they get their sustenance. What if flowers are too small? If I were that big, these wouldn't look like much of a meal to me. Darwin would say that if the flower was too small, the bee would adapt and find another nutrient. Guys, it looks like our bumbles found something other than flowers. Look. Holy moly. A colossal electricity-sucking bumblebee, that's... Freaky. Just freaky weird. Unbelievable. At least now we know what's been causing the power problems in Capital City. Now we know Capital City has a huge problem on its hands. <sighs> Come on, guys. I need to show you something. I said it's from 1953. But even for Klaus, it is not good. See, so far it's what you'd expect. But watch. See what I mean? Yes. So far, while most of the creatures we've encountered look sort of like creatures from Von Steinhauer movies, they don't entirely match. In this case, not only does the creature not look the same, but it behaves entirely differently. Exactly. Bumblebee in the movie shoots honey. Ours shoots electricity. So what's your point? Point is, it could be something totally different at work here. Something neither we nor Klaus can figure out. A giant electricity sucking bumblebee? The mind boggles. Sir, I, I wish we were joking, but we're not. Mr. Mayor, we have four subcommittees holding as many as 15 meetings a day, each on the power crisis. We should have a plan within a week. A actually, sir, um, we already have a plan. <clears throat> Which is? Give us control of Capital City's power supply and shut down the rest of the city, and we think we can kill the giant bumblebee. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, we must have a meeting immediately. Superintendent, I am going to hear these kids out but we have no proof that their story is even true. Giant bumblebee. It's absurd. to me. Superintendent, I think you should give these kids whatever they want. Surely you didn't say you wanted to shut the city's power off.
sure hope this works. There's no reason it shouldn't. So far, the bee has acted as if he thinks he's a real bee, so if he's hungry, he should go to the flower. What we've just done is make sure there's only one flower. No, no, no. My beautiful creature is about to snap into a trap. It's not fair. I've got to do something. Uh. Okay, run that by me again. What is it you want me to do? We're asking you to open the rear doors, put your system up to max, and get your men to safety. Let's do it. Emergency evacuation. This is not a drill. Please proceed calmly to the nearest exit. We repeat, this is not a drill. Okay, guys, everyone's out. Antonio, take it up the turbo. a lot of power. Here he comes! Looking for the only pollen left in town. Tonio, you stay on that switch! Set energy shifters to maximum. Stage one! Stage two! Stage three! Fire! Keep on him, he's a big guy! These energy drainers Tabby built will only work if we keep a steady barrage. Where's your fire? Antonio, can you say for sure? I think we got him. No! Look out below! I don't understand, guys. Who turned the master switch back on? I'll be back! I know you're in here! I'd like to talk! We have nothing to say to each other, warrior boy! You were once a creator. Now you're a destroyer. What happened? What happened? The world turned its back on my arse. That's what happened. But this creature was different from the creature in the movie. Why? Is there something else going on here, Mr. Von Steinhauer? Something that neither of us understand? Don't worry, Mr. Von Steinhauer. We'll catch up someday. Uh, yes, sir. I've been trying to find out all I can about Klaus. I, I realized the other day that I knew him from the old days. 
My career in surfing movies was just starting, and his big bug movies were just ending. He was a nice guy. Uh, a bit confused. Well, he just didn't know what was happening to him. Well, sir, I'm not sure that isn't the case now. All I need to do is a few adjustments, a no self-destruct mode, and then, after these modifications, Oh, my beautiful creatures will be immune to anything these warrior kids can come up with. If I could just get this modulator humming. Oh, oh. of course. Oh, I just need to install a fab devaluator and then... Is somebody there? Is somebody there? Is, is somebody there?